Hey everyone, it's Jack Fuki again. I'm just here with a quick little episode here of my 1-500 scale reviews. Um, I think I just went a little KLM crazy and started watching a bunch of documentaries on the airline and all sorts of stuff. Plus I'm excited to be getting my Herpa KLM 787 probably this week. Maybe, maybe like in about another eight days, who knows. Um, but um, I just thought I'd put my collection out uh, just to show you kind of what I've got in store, what I'll be doing, things I'll, you know, the planes I'll be reviewing. I'll give you a little bit of a taste of them. Uh, there is, uh, you know, there's all, all those there in the top row. Sorry about that shadow there. Really no way to go, go around that. Or prevent that. It's one of my, my A3-3200 DC-10. It's my Benelux exclusive KLM Asia. There, that is the first model I ever bought in 1500 scale. And uh, actually, it's MD11 over here is the second model I ever bought. Then I learned about new generation and I stopped getting old generation. <coughs> well, I can't say it's entirely true. I, I did get some old generations after that, but still. They've got a ton of 747s. I don't. I don't think there's any shortage. Uh, there's the Mississippi, uh, the one 747-200 that they named the Mississippi. Uh, I've actually seen that plane. It used to come into Houston a lot, um, but I only remember it from when it was painted blue. <coughs> it's the one my grandmother always took when she uh, went to go visit family in Germany. Uh, actually, I think I might have actually been on the plane too. I'll have to go double check and see, but um, I think I've got the ticket from 1973 from when I was like 16 months old or so. <coughs> There's a Sky Team 777. There's another 747. There's the Electra on the end that I've already reviewed. These are out of the package because I had to pull them from my airport real fast. Um, I did do a review of that one right there. And there is DC-9. Uh, one of them I did forget to put here on the table to show you is the uh, Split Livery Northwest KLM DC-10. But I'm not going to go dig for it now and refilm this. So. Couple of these, like I said, you've already seen them appear in reviews. <coughs> there are a few of them that I am missing. I don't have the Fokker 70. That's one that I uh, uh, hopefully I'll eventually get that one, but if not, no big deal. I do have two? Or did I say 70? No, I meant I, no, no, no. I meant the 50. Yeah, the Fokker 50 is the one I need. Um, the F70, I have both of them right there. They are different. And then uh, I do have the Aero 500 Triple Seven, which is uh, one of my favorite KLMs that I have. But uh, that was just a quickie over overview. Um, I got tons of them to tons of planes to review. That's that's some of them, but I think you saw that in that first video I did. And then you know there's some under the table here, and there's some behind me, and I've got them all boxed up. But uh, like I said, it was just a quick overview of the KLMs that I have to do. Uh, like I said, there's two of them not in this picture. One is a 787, and then the other one's a split livery. Northwest Airlines KLM DC-10, so I'll get around to doing that one someday. <laughs> It'll take a while to go through all of them, but that's it. Uh, I decided I'd share a little bit instead of doing a single review, uh, but each one of these, you know, at least, 
you know, if you want to see one of these, then uh, let me know, and I'll try to get the review done sooner. All right? You guys take care.